OCDT news. Skipping breakfast can cause this serious problem, check it out. Starting your day with a good breakfast should be the first thing that you need to do on a regular basis. Failing which, it can lead to serious health issues. The gap between the dinner time and breakfast lasts between 8-10 hours for majority of us. In addition to this gap, when you skip your breakfast, the time further extends and you tend to remain empty stomach for quite a long period of time. So when you directly have your lunch, skipping your breakfast, you end up eating in excess. This is one of the worst thing that one can do. This can give rise to stomach acidity and a host of other health issues. In order to lose weight, few people skip breakfast, but they fail to understand the cycle and this is wrong. Breakfast is one of the major meals which is a must-have for people belonging to all the age groups. A new study has found that, skipping breakfast can disrupt the body's internal clock and cause weight gain, even if one does not overeat for the rest of the day. Irregular eating habits such as skipping breakfast are often associated with obesity, type 2 diabetes, hypertension and cardiovascular disease. What the researchers say? Researchers from Tel Aviv University, Tal, and Hebrew University in Israel found the effect of breakfast on the expression of clock genes that regulate the post-meal glucose and insulin responses of both healthy individuals and diabetics. Our study shows that breakfast consumption triggers the proper cyclic clock gene expression leading to improved glycemic control, said Daniela Jacob Avich of Tal. The circadian clock gene not only regulates the circadian changes of glucose metabolism, but also regulates our body weight, blood pressure, endothelial function and atherosclerosis, said Jacob Avich. Proper meal timing, such as consuming breakfast before 9.30 am could lead to an improvement of the entire metabolism of the body, facilitate weight loss and delay complications associated with type 2 diabetes and other age-related disorders, she said. About the study, for the study, 18 healthy volunteers and 18 obese volunteers with diabetes took part in a test day featuring breakfast and lunch, and in a test day featuring only lunch. On both days, the researchers conducted blood tests on the participants to measure their postprandial clock gene expression, plasma glucose, insulin and intact glucagon like peptide 1 IGP-1 and a peptide IL peptidus IV DPP IV plasma activity. Our study showed that breakfast consumption triggers the proper cyclic clock gene expression leading to improved glycemic control, said Jacob Avich. In both healthy individuals and in diabetics, breakfast consumption acutely improved the expression of specific clock genes linked to more efficient weight loss and was associated with improved glucose and insulin levels after lunch, she said. In contrast, in test days featuring only lunch, when participants skipped breakfast, the clock genes related to weight loss were down-regulated, leading to blood sugar spikes and poor insulin responses for the rest of the day, suggesting that skipping breakfast led to weight gain even without the incidence of overeating the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.